In this section, I want to take a few minutes and show you how very basically you can create a type form from scratch. I do think that the templates make it a lot easier and faster, but you can start from absolute zero and build things up the way that you want. Now, I'm going to spend the next several chapters in this course talking about the various elements when you build stuff up. So I'm going to go through this kind of quickly and I will cover the information in more detail a little bit later. But here's what we're going to do. First, I'm going to come to my workspace and I've already made it full screen. And I'm going to come over to create a new type form. When I get there, click on that. And instead of using a template, I'm going to come up to start from scratch. Now it's going to ask me first for a name. I'm going to give this a very non exciting name TF01 two, four, um, create because that's my internal name for this particular section. It's English, I'm going to save that. And there's my new type form and it opens up to this, you know, the building blocks here. And all you need to do is start dragging and dropping stuff over and modifying it. The first thing I'm going to do is create a welcome screen because really, most type forms, most forms should have this as a way of introducing themselves. So I'm going to click welcome screen and drag it over here. That then brings up the window to allow me to configure this. Now, by default, it just asks for a little bit of text and it's got the start button there at the bottom. I'm going to add a image, I'm going to come over here to image video and click it. So it says on, I'm going to come over here to upload. And I've got an image saved to my desktop. Now, as I'm recording this video, it's just a few days before Halloween. And so I'm going to ask about Halloween costumes, and I'm going to bring up this unicorn head. All right, that's a freaky picture, but it's a nice place to start. I'm going to put some text in here. I'll delete that. And then I'm just going to say, it's Halloween. And the unicorns are out. And then I'm going to add a little subtext with a description. So I'm going to come down here and click description and say, but what about your costume? And then we want to hear. All right. And then I have one more option. And that's this button down here that right now says start, I can change what that says. It's harder to change on other pages. But here on the welcome screen, you have more control. And I'm just going to say, I'd love to dot dot dot. Great. And now I'm going to save that. And that's my welcome page. It's kind of freaky looking. But it's a start. Now if you want to see it again, we can just come back here and click on that one more time. And there's my page with the unicorn head. All right, I can close that by just hitting on this X in the circle. Now I'm going to ask a question. So that was my little introduction here, I'm going to get a little bit of short text because I'm going to ask for a person's name, because that allows me to personalize some of the responses. I'm going to drag that over. And I'm going to say, but first things first, what's, excuse me, what's your name? Great. And that's all I need from them. I don't need to add a picture or anything. I am going to make it required because I want to know their name. Okay. Hit save. So I'm going to come over here and get statement. I'm going to drag it over. And there we go. And now this is one that I just get to say something, they don't have to respond to it. And I'm going to put in high comma, and I'm going to put an add variable. So I'm actually going to get their name from the first response. Then I'll come down here, period. And then we're excited to hear about your fabulous costume. So I'll ask a couple of questions about their Halloween costume. And then I can leave the rest of that the way it is I have an option of turning off the uh, quote marks, I'm going to leave that. Now I'm going to put in a question group. 
And that's where I can have a stem. I ask one beginning and then I can have several questions that follow with the same thing. Rate your costume on the following criteria. Okay, that's good. I'm going to hit save. And then I'm going to drag in sub questions. I'm going to make them rating questions. So like a one to five kind of scale, like they're rating a movie. And these may not be the most important questions, but I'm going to put how scary was it? Now by default, I have three and they're stars, I'm going to make it five. And I'm going to change it because so, it's scary. I'm going to come down. Oops, excuse me. I'm going to come down here to skulls because it's Halloween. So I can do that. I'll hit save. I'll do another rating. I'll say this time, how regal was it? Maybe you dressed up as a prince or princess. And I'll make that five steps also. And this time, because it's being regal, I'm going to use crowns. You see, I got a different outline there. Press save. I'll do two more. Also ratings, ratings all the way through. This time I'm going to say, how much work did it take? And we'll get that up to five. And we'll get something that looks like you're working here. And I think that is going to be pencils. We'll save that one. And then one more question here. We'll ask again on the five point rating scale. How much did your friends like it? And this time, we'll again do five, but I will make it consistent with likes. I'll make it hearts. And that'll be the end of my rating questions. So now I'm just going to finish with a short statement to wrap it up. I'll grab statement here, drag it in, put it down here so it's not a sub question. And then we'll do that's all. And then I will bring in their name again, because that was our first question. And then have a happy Halloween. And then that is the end of that. So what I've done here is I had this blank canvas and into it, I dragged the different kinds of questions. Then I was able to change the text into the settings of some of the questions. Now we have other options. We can also come here to design and we can change the color palette because it's Halloween. I am going to change the palette to something uh, black and orange is good for Halloween. And so I can save that. And I can do some other things, change the fonts. I can change uh, the way things are displayed. I can configure the way I distribute it. But I'm going to save that for a little bit later. Mostly what I wanted to do right now is let you know that you can put these things together from scratch. And in the following sections, we're going to go over each of those steps in detail. I'm going to finish with one thing. I'm going to come up here to the top right to view my type form. I click on that. It opens up a new web page, a new tab. And this is now a live form. I can now say, press enter because I'd love to talk about it. My name is Bart. And it's going to ask me about my costume. And it was very scary. Uh, not very regal. I actually don't have a costume. So it didn't take much work at all. And my friends like it. Well, let's say it was a super hit. And then I can submit it. And that's the end. And then I will have one set of observations in my data set. So you can create these things from scratch. I find it easier to use the templates. But the nice thing about Typeform is it gives you the flexibility and it gives you the options. And we'll go over more, regardless of whether you use a template or start from scratch, we'll go over more about the kinds of things you can put in there, the welcome screens, the questions, the methods of distribution, so you can get it to be exactly the way you need for your own project.